Hello everyone, welcome to another Fantasy Grounds Unity tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the sidebar buttons on the right hand side of the Fantasy Grounds Unity interface. So by default, you're only going to have a certain amount of buttons, and this is also going to reflect on which rule set you are using as well. So I'm using the D&D 5th edition rule set, and as you can see, after I started my campaign, I have a certain amount of buttons that are available to click on your content. And whatever modules that you have loaded, then that content from that module will show in the sidebar buttons. And I have other tutorials on how to activate modules and how to view your content and stuff. So, but I know that there are a lot of a lot of other buttons that are somewhere in the interface. So when you go to the upper right hand corner, click on the cog wheel, or it could be something else depending on the rule set that you're using and the options interface will pop up. Now you'll notice that here, at the bottom of the options interface is a sidebar button. Now, when you click on that, this is gonna have all of the available sidebar buttons for the rule set that you are using. So all I wanna do is I just wanna activate all of them because if I'm in GM mode, the first thing I wanna show you is there are a couple of different profiles that you can use. So if you're as a if you're running a game as a GM, you'll just want to make sure you have the GM selected and this is going to basically save all of the presets that you have. And I want all of the buttons for when I'm in GM mode. So when I hit the all button, you'll notice that there are a lot more sidebar buttons, everything pertaining to D&D 5th edition. And like I said, it's going to be different depending on the rule set that you're using. So for example, for Savage Worlds, you won't see feats, but you'll see edges and hindrances. Or in Pathfinder 2, you'll see ancestries instead of races. So like I said, it just depends on the rule set that you're using, depending on what sidebar buttons that you have available. So now if you want to be a player, obviously you're not going to need everything that you would need as running a GM. So all you would do is just go to your play profile and just add whatever sidebar buttons. It's like a Chinese buffet. It's like a smorgasbord. You just go in and just click on what you want. And when you activate that button, it's going to be a darker shade than the buttons that are not showing. So you can just go through and, and pick anything you want. Or if you're creating a PC, you have a profile for that as well. So if you're just in character creation mode, you can go into your options, select create PC and choose everything to your heart's content. So basically everything that has to do with creating a character. So I've had a lot of people say, hey, Dave, how do I do my sidebar buttons? Well, here you go. This is how you do sidebar buttons. And like I said, if I'm in GM mode, I'm just going to run all of them. So I'm just going to click the all button and have, you know, basically access to all of the different sidebar buttons. So there you go, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please do me a favor. Thumbs up the video. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, happy gaming.